Hello, fourth graders. Good morning or good afternoon or whatever time of day you're seeing this. I don't even know. Um, I, but I do hope that you're having a great day so far. So I wanted to come on here and talk to you just the fourth graders um, because I received this yesterday from Miss Crawley. And if you can't see it or you didn't sign it, you might not know what it is. But doesn't this look sort of like a library um, bookshelf with lots of books on it. So this is a petition that was started by Astrid Abrahamson, and it asks for more books. And many of you across the class have signed it. So I know that you all have been learning that one of your rights under the First Amendment of the Constitution is the right to petition the government. So we don't like really have a government here. I'm, I guess since I'm in charge of the school, you could kind of consider me in charge of the government here at Johnson. Um, so that petition would come to me, right? So I wanted to first come on here and thank you for sharing your petition for more books with me. And I have to say, I agree with you. We always want more books, right? I am so glad that you guys want more books in our school. And I'm really proud of you for exercising your First Amendment right to petition the government, a.k.a. me. Um, so I think you guys talked about this, but petitioning the, gov petitioning the government doesn't necessarily guarantee that you're going to get what you ask for. Um, there could be lots of reasons why a petition may not be granted. So in this particular case, what you're asking for, which is more books, is awesome. It's also going to be a lot of money. So I needed to go. I had to look at my Johnson budget and see how much money I have left to spend in the year. Um, and then once I saw how much I had left to spend, I had to wait and see like, oh my goodness, are we going to need more copy paper? Or like, am I going to have to buy a new smart board for somebody? Or like, do I have enough money? So I am super super excited to share that we do have enough money in our Johnson budget. And so I am very happy to grant your petition to get more books at Johnson School for the library. So here is how it's going to work. There are 54 students in fourth grade right now. If I give every fourth grader $10 to spend on a book for the library, how much would that be? 54 students, $10 each. Do the math. Got it? So if you did the math in your head, the answer is $540. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bump that up to $600 just in case we get any more students or if somebody wants a book that's like $11 instead of $10, we also gotta factor in tax and things like that. So you have $600 as a grade level to spend on new books for the library. Now, I am not just gonna go around and give out $10 bills, everybody. I am not Oprah. You are gonna have to work for this. And so here is how it's gonna work. Each of you will work with Ms. Flowers during your library time to select a book that you would like have to have added to the library. If it's a book that's already in the library, she might say, eh, we've already got two of those. Pick something different. You'll need to pick something different. But everybody gets to select a book. Then your whole grade level is going to have to work together to make sure that you didn't go over that $600 I'm giving you. I'm not giving you $600 and one cent. I'm giving you $600. That's it. Don't ask me for any more. So you'll each work with Ms. Flowers in addition to your book, like choosing your book. You've got to find the website that is going to sell your book for the cheapest because, of course, you want to save me some money, right? Once the order is made, you're going to help Ms. Flowers unpack the books. You are going to label the books. Um, you're going to do anything that Ms. Flowers needs you to do to help you integrate those new books into our existing library and collection. So I just wanted to point out that you can see sometimes when you petition for something and you get it, there can sometimes be a little bit of work that comes with it too. So careful what you wish for. Um, last but not least, I love you each very much. And I hope that this teaches you that you have a voice no matter how young you are. I'm really proud of you for petitioning for something that you felt like our school needed. And I know what's really exciting about this is that generations of kids that come to Johnson after you will be reading these books that you selected for our library. And I think that's pretty special. So last but not least, don't petition me for anything else for the rest of the year because you're not going to get it. I'm just kidding. Um, I hope you have a great day, and I want you to start thinking about what book titles you might want to have added to the Johnson Library. Have a great one.